MSRP stands for MIT Summer Research Program, but it's much more than just a, a research program. Every day I'm here, it's a different experience. It involves mentorship, different workshops about graduate admissions or scientific communication. MSRP is actually a great opportunity to develop skills as a professional researcher and prepare for graduate school. It was the perfect fit, and I was really hoping when I, when I submitted the application that I would get in because I thought it would become the best experience I'll have. I've always been interested in robotics. But it wasn't until I guess I got to MSRP to where I was able to understand like there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that I can work on. We're working in a, a biomechanics lab for human rehabilitation. Our project is a human subject experiment. So there's a robot and it moves a handle and an ellipse. And the human's instructed to apply a constant force in the direction of motion. What we're trying to figure out is why are humans so good at this? And if we can figure that out, maybe we can implement that into robots. My day-to-day -day, um, involves a lot of MATLAB, a lot of programming, um, which I had done very little of before I got here. I've just seen leaps and bounds in what Michael's been able to do since he's been here. From, I've done MATLAB a couple times for uh, homework assignments and I've read about it, uh, to now doing like simulations and all of the data analysis for the whole project in MATLAB. That's always been my Achilles heel back at home. I'd always be like, the guy in the group who's like, oh man, this is tough. Uh, I'll work on more of the, the mechanical side. I, I don't think uh, going back to my home institution, I'll be that guy anymore. Last winter quarter, I registered to take a laboratory class for a digital systems project. There was a visiting professor from MIT. I decided to teach with my co-host in UCSD, a introductory logic design course. And, and David was a student in that. I met with them. And then he asked me about MSRP. And we talked about some projects. And it was obvious to me that he's enthusiastic about it. And that's very, very important. I strongly encouraged him to apply. And I'm very fortunate that he got in and he's working with me. My work is directed to design a convolution accelerator. Current designs are either too slow or too specialized. One day it went from he's got a hardware design just, he's got the idea of what the hardware needs to be to the next time I see him, he's written the software for it. He's gotten there faster than I ever expected. The lab team that I'm working on is the School Effectiveness and Inequality Initiative. This past year, the charter schools in Boston teamed up and decided to implement a new system, the Common Application, to make it easier for students to apply to more than one school. We want to match the students who applied with their state assigned ID and then we can track their outcomes and their test scores in future years. It's my job to be the go-between for the school data and the researchers who want to examine it. I come from rural upstate New York. I'm also a first generation college student. So now to see that low income kids in the Boston area have the opportunity to go to a school that's going to prepare them more for me to evaluate whether this is a fair and efficient system is really important to me. This summer I'm working under Dr. Paula Hammond's lab in the Department of Chemical Engineering in the Koch Institute of Cancer Research. I come from uh, an immigrant family and I am a first generation refugee as well. So when I was back in Damascus, Syria, I got to see three of my relatives that did have cancer and I saw like how the chemotherapy had a lot of bad impact on their health. So I was really always interested in how does this disease progress to become this and why is the, why is the chemotherapy have that much bad effect on healthy cells and not only cancer cells. So after doing a lot of literature research, we came up with an idea of encapsulating uh, a chemotherapy drug that's already been in use in the market since 2012 inside a drug delivery vehicle uh, to reduce the side effects that it imposes on patients that use it. Miriam did a phenomenal job. I'll definitely say she, she really kind of took the project under her wing and made it her own. That's, that's pretty phenomenal for an undergrad. She really sort of dove in um, a lot like a grad student would. I've just been very impressed. I have been really lucky in this lab because uh, I proposed the question and then they're leaving me to find the answer. My 
My favorite part of the week would be our pod meetings. I think it's just important to see like your peers evolve and be able to see their trials and triumphs and being able to share yours with them. We have four pods, which have about 10 students each, and those are led by MIT graduate students. Our role is one of mentorship and guiding them through a process that includes navigating MIT, navigating resources around campus, as well as understanding other things about the graduate application process. So a lot of things that somebody who is new to the research experience may be interested in answering. We get dinner together, we talk about our weeks, we talk about what went well, what didn't go well. They're there to listen as your friend and also to give advice as a mentor. I know that my mentors really heavily shaped my path. The same interactions that I had with mentors as an undergrad and how they helped me grow, I see in the students and how we might be helping them grow. I think this summer will definitely change their lives. What makes MSRP different from other research programs is that they really are towards preparing you for graduate school. It's given us a lot as far as workshops go and preparing us and giving us a lot of tips on how to get to where I want to go. I think one of the coolest part is being able to see like a clear pathway from your senior year until you actually graduate. I didn't know what a statement of objectives or a statement of purpose were and now I've signed up for the GRE, I have a test date, MSRP provided me with materials to study and I've been doing that this summer too. But I think the most important thing that MSRP has given me is the confidence and the belief to be able to say that uh, I can go to graduate school, I can get a doctorate degree, and um, I, I will be able to um, be able to put myself in such a rigorous atmosphere. They showed me that you are capable of doing anything you put your mindset into it. They make sure that you know that you belong here. It is definitely the opportunity to challenge yourself to learn something new. I got really lucky with finding MSRP. It's been the best summer of my life, for sure. I think I'll always carry this uh, with me. This is where it all happens.